trust me, do not skip this video. For your own sake, do not skip. You clicked on today's video to find the best jump shot for your build in NBA 2K21. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you the best jump shot for every build, every speed, and every position, whether it's non-custom and custom jump shots. I'm gonna be also giving you guys the best tricks and tips to improve on your shooting, the best settings to use for shooting successfully. I'm gonna also solve myths that might improve or not improve your shooting in the game. And I guarantee you, if you watch this video the whole way through, you will 100% come out with a jump shot for your build. And if you have any questions about anything that I say in this video, make sure to DM me on Twitter, Instagram, or come through to one of my streams on Twitch and shoot me a question. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this banger, man. Let's get it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double HDF, and I'm back at it with yet another banger. Now, I'm about to help a lot of you guys out, and I'm going to give you guys tons of information throughout this video, and I'm going to be dropping a lot of random information throughout this video that you guys might have never known, and all this information is factual information, and you might be wondering, well, why should I listen to you? Well, I've been playing 2K for almost a decade now, and as of the recent years, last year, I was the number one legend in the game. I had the most experience in in the game i had the most games played in the game i had a tons of builds just like i did in 2k19 this year i have a build with a low three-pointer i have a build with a high three-pointer i have a 94 win percent i'm always very successful on these 2k games and there's a reason that i'm good at shooting in these 2k games because i know a lot about the shooting in 2k especially in nba 2k21 now there's five things i'm gonna go over in this video and i need you guys to be patient with me whether this video is long or short you need to watch the all the way through because if you watch everything you learn everything i say in this video i promise you you will be 10 times better at this game than before you clicked on this video now number one we're going to go over the best settings to use in nba 2k21 then we're going to be going over the tips and tricks to make you a better shooter we're also going to be going over the best badges and which badges are valued better not which badges are better because obviously hall of fame is better at everything we're going to talk about that a little later because some people think otherwise we're also going to be going over some shooting myths in 2k21 and which ones are true and which ones are false and then finally i'm going to cap it off with giving you best custom and non-custom jump shots for every single arc archetype and every single three-point rating in nba 2k21 now a lot of the gameplay you're going to be seeing in this video i have a playmaking shot creator and a slasher iso build one has about an 83 pointer and then of course the play shot has about a 90 something three pointer now before i get into those five steps i want to say a couple things before i start this video number one a lot of jump shot videos out there that youtubers be putting out is a scam they'll put out a jump shot with let's say base 98 and then they'll put two releases at the end of it then the next jump shot video it's the same base 98 but there's two different releases out of it that that's they're literally just scamming you into watching these jump shot videos over and over because the fact of the matter is is the releases do nothing they don't change your white percentage your make percentage your green percentage they're all for visual they're all visual preferences they don't actually make the jump shot better and we're going to explain that later on in the video now what's not personal preference is putting taking off and putting on your meter or using certain badges or certain settings and bases to use in the game and that's why i'm here to show you guys what to do and what not to do now make sure to drop a like on this video let's shoot for 7,000 likes on this video if you guys have it just click the like button it's as simple as that bro I, I did a lot of research a lot of information a lot of experience went into this video make sure to subscribe to the channel as well because guess what 2k21 next gen is around the corner and i'm going to be here to provide you with the best builds the best jump shots the best animations the best drill moves like i usually predict before the game even comes out now without further ado let's get straight into this banger man let's get it Some of you might not think much of settings, but settings are actually huge when it comes to shooting. So if you're in a park, whatever, go over to options, then go over to controller settings. Now, I'm going to go over each setting right now. So starting with vibration, a lot of people say their vibration doesn't work. A lot of people have it off, they have it on. Now, in my opinion, you should have it on no matter what. Now, sometimes the vibration is not going to go it's not going to work every single shot or every single game, but you may as well have it on. And now what vibration does is as soon as you're supposed to release your shot, 
the controller will vibrate when you're supposed to release your x or your square button so you may as well have it on now to avoid vibration not working make sure that your controller batteries if you do use batteries are fully charged sometimes if your batteries are low it won't vibrate as much or maybe even if that's not working you can plug your controller into your console or your pc or whatever you're playing on because plugged in controllers will work with vibration more than wireless controllers now when it comes to the shot meter last year shot meter was huge if you had your shot meter on you were almost considered just not as good as other people because you were using a shot meter that's how much of a disadvantage it is now this year i think it depends on your build okay the only build you should have your shot meter on for is a playmaking shot critter okay and even at that i still wouldn't have the shot meter on it has been confirmed by people that work at 2k that the shot meter still yes still gives a boost if it's off so i would put that off shot aiming now i would put shot aiming on shots only okay and the reason for this is you don't want to have shot aiming for layups especially if you go for a lot of reverse layups if you get wide left or wide right it you could miss wide open layups so i would put it on shots only that way if you do shoot with the stick you won't get penalized when you go for layups or dunks and if you have like hall of fame finishing and you can get contact dunks definitely put it on shots only that way when you pull back the right stick you won't get as many layups and you'll actually get those contact dunks that you're looking for you do get more of an advantage if you shoot with the right stick but if you're more comfortable with x or square i'd say just do x or square because most people don't use the shot stick now right here make sure to copy these three settings these are for more dribbling make sure these are on absolute this is on default now if you go over to the settings tab right here there's something called shot feedback now what shot feedback is it's in the top Top right of the screen and it tells you what percentage shots you're getting on contest when you're on defense and what kind of shots you're taking so if someone can test you it'll show 90 percent contested or if you're wide open it'll show you're wide open now some people do think that taking this off gives you a boost but we're going to talk about that later in the video and we're going to show some proof and evidence why it might or might not be the best thing to do now i have it on all shots that's what i use but we'll explain that a little more later in the video that's about it for the settings so let's go ahead and head to step number two next is the tips and tricks now there's a lot of tips and tricks i'm going to be telling you guys today and teaching you guys today that are going to increase your chances of just making your shots more often in 2k21 now number one is going to be buying boosts okay if you go to this boost stand at the top of the park you can actually buy jump shot boosts and yeah that could get expensive but you will be shooting way better with jump shot boosts now you can also win unlimited boosts like myself i have unlimited boosts as you can see here now you might be asking how i want unlimited boosts now you can get it off the elite wheel but you have to be elite or higher to get it off that wheel and you would have to hit bonus and you would have to have it land on unlimited boost so that's very unlikely but you can win it from events i want it from boot camp but you can win it from like placing top 10 in gold rush or placing top five in basketball gods or even top five in ruffles top 10 in boot camp top 10 in formula any of those events can give you unlimited boosts now obviously not every event because rush can't give you that and dime time can't give you that so it's just specific events like the ones i listed in the beginning but another thing that can increase your chances of making shots is gatorade so if we walk over here and get to the gatorade facility over here on the map and we walk in here you can actually do drills in here that can get you plus five to your physical stats for seven days but you don't have to do these drills if you hit superstar 2 at superstar 2 you get the gym rat badge which gives you those plus four bonuses off rip you can also get gym rat by winning the finals in my career you will also get it from there but as you can see if i go over to progression skill boost i have my plus four physical attributes those are permanent because i'm past ss2 it says i have my weekly workout completed but if i wasn't ss2 i would have to complete it every week to get those plus four boosts and obviously, if I'm faster and I have more stamina, I'm going to be able to make more shots and get open easier. Now, another thing you could do, even if you have those boosts, is walk over to this guy over here. And if you go ahead and click Gatorade Fuel Station, you can buy Gatorade, which could also give you more stamina in games, which is going to be able to... And obviously, if you have more stamina available, you're going to be able to make more shots. So just buy three of these blue things every once in a while if you want to be safe you can also buy the red and the, the bars but this that can get pretty expensive so i recommend just buying the blue ones that's really all you need to get another thing you're going to want to do is go to the my court now the my court is going to be huge remember when i said to take your shot meter off well some of you might be like 
yo, Double H, I actually want to keep my shot meter on because I feel like I don't know my jump shot well enough or I'm just not good without shooting the meter. That is okay, but you need to learn how to shoot with the meter off. So once you apply all the settings that I told you, go to the my court and go over to this ball rack over here. You're going to want to do the shoot around drill to start. Now, the shoot around drill is basically just you dribbling around, shooting jump shots, and whatever this is how you're gonna learn how to shoot without the meter okay just shoot around if you don't know how to shoot without the meter just just shoot around you know practice with it get used to it you know mess around with it fade with it shoot quick stops dribble act like you're in game whatever green it's whatever but a lot of people also ask me double h when how do you know when re to release the ball if you don't have your meter on well that's why you should have vibration on but you shouldn't always rely on your vibration because that always doesn't work most of the time so when i look at my player as you can see we're gonna put this shot in slow-mo you can look at a couple different things you can look at the feet the hands or you can go off muscle memory so if you want to do muscle memory it's just you know what i'm saying once you green a shot just be like okay i'm gonna time it exactly that and you just shoot 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 in this my court until you got your muscle muscle memory down or you can look at the feet you're gonna want to notice when you green a shot were the feet when you released x okay now most of the time i do look at the feet when i'm shooting you can also look at your hands and when you look at the hands you want to see when your player obviously releases the ball so basically once you green it one time with the hands or one time with the feet or one time with muscle memory you just want to repeat that you want to attempt to repeat that so keep trying to repeat that in your mic court until you have it down packed. But those are the three cues for shooting without your shot meter on. Because obviously you can't look at your meter if you have it off. Now once you get that down, you're going to want to do two different drills to increase your shooting. And the first one is going to be ball machine. Now this drill is fantastic for improving your shooting. I could just stand at this spot and I can just shoot, shoot, shoot shoot all i have to do is click a and the machine will pass me the ball this is the best way to learn your jump shot just do this drill sit in this my court now yes the my court's gonna have a little different latency than the park in the stage but overall you're gonna be able to know when to release your shots now a couple goals i'm gonna give you guys when you're doing this drill is try to like green five shots in a row then maybe try to green 10 shots in a row from a spot and once you were to be honest once you green 10 shots in a row or even maybe five, then you probably have your jump shot down pack. Now, once you think you have that down pack, another drill you're gonna wanna do is personal workout all the way at the bottom. You're gonna wanna click the invite button and just invite any NBA player you see on this list. Let's say I'll invite Kyle Lowry to my court. Then you're gonna back out, click start, and you're gonna put yourself on one team and Kyle Lowry on the other team. Now, this is probably the best drill because you can take in-game experiences and practice your shot in game this is also good for practicing drill moves so if i want to practice drill moves that i want to do in game or see if i can get open with these drill moves in game then i just go ahead and i do this drill now you could do unlimited attempts it's going to put you on offense every single time but my advice to you is try to practice your jewel moves right here practice your jump shot make sure you do both of these drills and make sure you have your cue down now the last piece of advice i have for you guys when it comes to tips and tricks on shooting is jump your jump shot okay stay loyal to a jump shot don't be that guy that changes his jump shot every day or that guy that changes his jump shot because he had one bad game or that guy that hypes up a jump shot because he had one good game stay consistent to a jump shot if you keep changing your jump shot all the time it's going to be hard Harder for you to get the muscle memory down the cue down and really just the release in general down if you stick with one jump shot you're gonna get so much better with that one jump shot over time now that's about it for the tips and tricks part of the shooting now let's get on to number three now we're gonna take a look at shooting badges now whether your shooting badges go to gold or hall of fame it's not gonna matter now a lot of people think that there are actually some badges that are better than others well i'm gonna tell you right now that's just not true because the level hall of fame is better than gold and gold is better than silver and silver is better than bronze some people are under the impression that is not true some people are like oh silver catch and shoot is actually uh, better than hall of fame no it's not it's not okay hall of fame is the best at every category okay so stop letting people tell you that now what i will say is there are values at badges now for example let's say this is my setup right now okay it would actually be a better value to put catch and shoot on silver than hall of fame because it's not a big difference even though hall of fame is better and then put my two extra badge upgrades somewhere else that's what some people mean by silver catch and shoot is better than hall of fame for example 
It's not actually better, but it's better value to put your badge at silver so you get extra upgrades somewhere else or put it on another bat. Now, right now, I'm going to tell you the most important shooting badges, and then I'm also going to tell you some shooting badges that you might want to use and what they're the best value at, okay? Now, first off, Green Machine Hall of Fame, Range Extender Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame. These three badges right here are the most important shooting badges in the game. It's not close. So whether you can get them on Hall of Fame or Gold, always max these three levels at three levels out no matter what. Volume Shooter is actually really good value at a bronze volume shooter, okay? Silver, Gold, and Hall of Fame are better, but bronze actually gives very good value. Same with Silver Corner Specialist or Silver Catch and Shoot. The value is very good out of those two badges at Silver. Same with Flexible Release. Silver flex re Flexible Release is very good. Or Hall of Fame. Don't do Gold and don't do Bronze. Another one is Deadeye. Bronze Deadeye is very glitchy. Like, I would definitely use Bronze Deadeye and get your value somewhere else. So now knowing this, look at how much more badges I have. And I still have three left over. So I can do like Silver Hot Start. And then I could do like bronze difficult shots or bronze clutch shooter or just gold or I could just go gold hot start. Now, if I didn't know these values, then I would be wasting so much badge upgrades. I would be putting this on Hall of Fame, this on gold, like, and then I'd already be done. Look at, so look at how that value brings so much more badges to the table that I can use. Like, look at, this is, this is great. This is perfect. Now, badges, I would, I would recommend staying away from slippery off ball, not too useful, put, Pump fake, maestro, no. Pick and popper, eh. Even if you're a shooting center, no. Ice and veins, only free throws, not worth it. Steady shooter is not good this year. Um, D fades is not good this year unless you're a post score. Clutch shooter and difficult shots are pretty good, but they might not be as useful as these other badges, especially after the patch difficult shots is not as useful. I can still green fades without even having it on at all, especially in takeover and especially as a playmaking shot creator. But like I said, these three badges right here are the most important. Other than that, the next three most important ones is probably Dead Eye, Hot Start, and Catch and Shoot. Everything else is just preference. I'd like to have Corner Specialist. I'd like to have Flexible. I'd like to have Volume and Tireless Shooter. So this is really the best badge setup right here that I would go with if I had 23 badges. But once again, these three are the best. Dead Eye's great volume on Bronze great value on bronze volume shooters great value on bronze corner flexible and catch and shoot have great value at silver as well now that's gonna be it for the badges these badges did apply to all positions and all builds if you were wondering but let's go ahead and head to number four all right so number four we have shooting miss now i already solved one of the myths actually in the last one we just talked about when it comes to some people thinking that there are silver bronze or gold badges that might be better than the higher up badges that are maybe our gold or hall of fame which is just not true hall of fame is the best gold is the second best silver this third best and it goes on from there now the next myth that we need to bust is the turning off shot feedback gives you a boost to your jump shot now as you can see on the game plan on the screen this is me using my build and shooting around with shot p feedback off now thanks to 2k labs they did a test and they tested every single green window every single shooting rating with the shot feedback on and the shot feedback off and as you can see by the graph the gray is shot feedback off and the light blue is the shot feedback on now the only differences here is basically the same the only differences is the variance in rng and testing so it's literally the same there is no difference between having your shot feedback on or shot feedback off this was also confirmed when one of the 2k developers tweeted out every single thing that can give you a boost to shooting and as you can see he does not mention putting on or taking off your shot feedback so if you do think that your shot feedback being off gives you a boost i'm sorry to tell you but it actually does not i initially thought it did too think better of my shooting when my shot feedback's off i don't know it's a weird situation but factually it actually does not give you a boost so that myth is also busted so let's go on to number five. All right, so lastly, we have the best jump shots for every build, every speed, really just everyone, okay? So I need you guys to pay attention to what archetypes I say for what jump shot. Now, right now, if you don't see any of your jump shots in here and you think they're wet, comment down below your jump shot, what your three-point rating is and what your archetype is, because just in case some of these jump shots don't work for the people watching the
watching the video they can go ahead and scroll to the comments and see if they can find some fire jump shots down below but anyways we're gonna go through point guards shooting guards small forwards power forwards center we're gonna start off with point guards and specifically point guards that have a high three-pointer I'm also gonna be showing the two jump shots that I use at the end of all the jump shots there's gonna be two bases you can either go Dwayne Wade or 98 okay so here's the first jump shot it's just pure Dwayne Wade this is a great jump shot and by the way never buy a jump shot always go to the jump shot creator no matter what there's no reason not to go to the jump shot creator because you need to change your release speed okay so on this one go 75% speed and by the way 90% of the best jump shots you want to have at 75% speed 100% speed is rarely the way to go but anyways 75% speed pure Dwayne Wade for base and both releases another good play shot jump shot is going to be Dwayne Wade base again, but then we're gonna change the releases up. We're gonna go Paul George release one, release 26, release two, 75% speed, and 60, 40, 60% 60 Paul George. This jump shot is very smooth as well. Another good jump shot with base Wade is release Tony Parker and release 15 for release two, with 75% Tony Parker and 25% release 15. Now these Dwayne Wade base jump shots are very good. Now. They're all going to work the same when it comes to white percentage, green percentage, all that. Now, it's really just based on personal preference on which of the three you're going to pick, depending on the release one or release two. It's all visual aspects, especially if you're going to have your meter off. You need to see your cues, just like what we talked about earlier in the video. Now, we're going to go to base 98 when it comes to play shots. Base 98 is very good, and this is one of the better ones. Base 98, release one, Kevin Duckworth, release two, Kevin Duckworth, with max speed and no blending. This is the one-handed jump shot this jump shot is godlike a lot of playmaking stretch bigs use this jump shot as well so if you're a power forward play stretch this could also work for you but this is a very good play shot jump shot as well it's very fast it gets off fast it's very good for quick stops and all that another good jump shot 98 one is jump shot 98 release one is going to be released 15 release two is going to be released 26 and the release speed is going to be 75%. Release 15 is 60%. Release 26, 40%. I'm pretty sure we just had one with this same exact thing, except it was base Dwayne Wade. So it's just switching up the bases, same releases. Y'all get the drill. But now that we're done with our play shots, okay, and our high three point guards, we're going to go to our lockdowns for a second here. And I'm going to be going to the lower three point. Um, ISO guard builds in a second too. Don't worry about that. But we're going to start with our lockdown. So any build that's sitting corner, any build with around a 70, 63 pointer, this is going to be one of the first jump shots. Base 98, release 8, release 2 is going to be Trey Young. 70% release 8, 30% Trey Young. Now you can start with 100% speed, but if that doesn't work out for you, try 75% speed. This is a fantastic jump shot if you're a perimeter lock, a two way finisher, some kind of lockdown. Very good jump shot. The spot up now my other jump shot for my lockdowns is going to be base stephen curry release 26 and release 15 this jump shot i mean it's looking awkward but trust me 40 percent 60 percent max speed once again if you don't like the max speed go to 75 percent speed this is another fantastic spot up jump shot for lockdowns you know if you're playing with an iso player or if you're a center this could work as well so yeah both of these lockdown jump shots could also work on centers now we're going to go to center and power forward. Now, once again, that play stretch jump shot could work. Those lockdown jump shots could work. Any of these jump shots could work for centers, but these are two specific center jump shots, power forward jump shots, big man shooters that we're going to be looking at. Now, the first one, you might be skeptical. You're thinking base 96. Don't you mean base 98? No, base 96, release 54, and release two is going to be Clay Thompson. And then it's going to be max speed 50 50 you can also go 75 percent speed if you don't like the max speed but this jump shot looks so ugly but trust me this thing is cash it's definitely a very good center jump shot now another good center jump shot of course is going to be base 38 now you can switch up the releases with any of these bases by the way these are just the popular releases that look the best and feel the best so feel free to change the releases on any of these jump shots but base 38 was very popular for centers last year. It's very good again. This year, 40-60, LaMarcus Aldridge, Rudy Gay, 75% release speed. You can also go max release speed on these center jump shots because you guys are usually, especially if you're taller, you're just going to have a naturally slow jump shot in general. But yeah, this is also a very good center jump shot. 
Now I'm gonna get to the two jump shots that I use. Now I use my, this is the Dwayne Wade jump shot that I use on my play shot. Very good, we saw that in the beginning. But this next jump shot is my godlike jump shot. I think this jump shot will work on any build, any position, any three point rating. I use it on my play shot and I use it on my ISO slash reveal with an 81 three pointer. So it's a very good build if you're an ISO player with a low three pointer. It's base 98, release one Ray Allen, release two Trey Young, 60 Ray Allen, 40 Trey Young, Trey Young, 75% release speed. Trust me, this jump shot is guy like y'all been asking me what my new jump shot is. This is the new one. This is the new one that I haven't been telling y'all about. I think this is the best jump shot in the game. I don't even think it's close. I'm so used to it now. It's definitely the best jump shot. But once again, I gave you guys two lockdown jump shots, two center jump shots, about four or five guard jump shots. And you can really mix around the releases for any of these jump shots. Make sure to comment some other good jump shots that you know of down below. But anyways, that's going to be it for the jump shots for you guys. Okay, y'all, so that's going to be the end of the video. We went from everything from settings, tips, badges, myths, all the jump shots for every position, every build. If you guys have any questions, make sure to hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, or Twitch and shoot me a question on one of those. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you guys haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already as well. 400,000 subscribers on the way. Next Gen is on the way. We're about to go crazy crazy in 2k21 next gen but anyways guys it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out of here y'all i ain't never Peace. had no friends i was all alone she ain't never called my phone she left me on my own they saying all girls are the same brother than my dog she said can you stay with me now i got a girl diamond dripping off my neck is when i'm about to flex up on my necks with a check you said you